hi friends if you are viewing my channel first time please subscribe to my channel for more updates on embedded systems today we are mainly discussing about on some can protocol basics today's agenda error confinement mechanisms okay so far we discussed about on error detection mechanisms in the previous session and today we are mainly discussing about on error confinement mechanism for example we have one can network in this can network so many can nodes are connected uh, into the network for example one of the node is sending continuously error frames for example if it uh, met the particular threshold so we should disconnect from the network by using this error confinement mechanism the defect node should be uh, disconnected from the existing node this is the mainly use case of the uh, error confinement this is one of the feature was implemented in the uh, can protocol and here we will deeply will discuss about an error confinement mechanism okay for example here we have so many nodes are connected in a in a single can network for example node 1 is sending one of the data frame one of the can frame it was sending and uh, during the transmission uh, the frame was corrupted due to uh, crc error or form error or acknowledgement error or bit error or stuff error okay these many errors already we discussed in the previous session due to one of the error the frame is corrupted okay when it is corrupted then uh, this node will transmit the error flag okay uh, like for example in uh, active error frame it will transmit the six uh, consecutive uh, dominant bits and uh, here it will transmit the error flag due to this consecutive six zeros the other all receivers also will transmit the error flag of again six zeros okay here uh, whenever the frame is corrupted it will send the error flag similar way all other nodes which is received by the error flag other nodes also will generate the error okay here uh, we were uh, keep tracking of the error counters okay here uh, in the can protocol in each controller each can controller we have two error counters transmit error count and receive error count for example uh, any unsuccessful uh, transmission of the frame so we used to increment the tc by 8 okay similar way if other nodes are receiving the uh, error flag so the receiver nodes will, will increment the rec counter by 1 okay here for example this uh, node is sending the error frame so tc will increment by 8 here and all other nodes will increment that rec by 1 okay this is the way the protocol was implemented okay initially our uh, control is the normal state for example whenever uh, we detect a error so we will enter to the error active state okay we will stay in error active state until uh, less than or equal to 127 we will always stay in the error active state for example if tc or rec is greater than 127 then we will enter to the error passive state okay when the for example this tc is greater than 255 so we will enter to the bus off state Okay, for example, if I transmit one uh, uh, frame, for example, that got corrupted, that TEC will increment by uh, 8. For example, again, uh, I will retransmit the uh, data, same data. So, again, it got corrupted. Again, my TEC will increment by 8. For example, after 16th uh, consecutive errors, so I will enter to the error passive state. 16 multiply 8 why because uh, every error it is used to increment by 8 okay that's why after uh, 16th uh, error so i will enter to the error passive state again uh, after 16 errors i will enter to the bus off okay if i if this node is sending continuously 32 errors 32 frames uh, got corrupted so it will uh, enter to the bus off state okay so in the bus of state it will disconnect from the network okay here none of the frames are transmitted for example in case of error act two, it can send the data frame remote frame overload frame and act to error frame during this state it can also send a data frame er uh, error frame nothing but passive error frame and uh, re uh, remote frame and overload frame all frames can send during this time and also this time but here we can send the active error frame and here we will send the passive error frame okay here uh, if uh, node is having the more error so it will send the passive error frame so if node having less error it will send the active error frame okay this is how the can protocol was implemented for example if i want to recover from the bus of state 
so i should receive the 128 uh, multiply 11 receive bits from the other node so we will be again connecting back to the network if it is in bus off we will disconnect from the network for example if i receive the uh, like continuously 128 multiply 11 receive bits so if i receive this many receive bits so again i will join to the network for example if uh, i am not receiving this many receive bits so if any restart restart of this controller again i will come to the error active state for example uh, here uh, we will see the transition from error active state to error passive state again passive state to error active okay for example if my uh, i have 16 errors so i will enter to here error passive state for example six uh, unsuccessful transmission so i will enter to for example 16 unsuccessful transmissions so i will enter to the error passive state for example i was transmitted successfully that uh, 17th frame i successfully i transmitted so tc will decrement by 8 and rec will decrement by 1 so in that case less than uh, 120 less than or equal to 127 so i will uh, enter back to the error active state this is how the can protocol was implemented if i receive the continuously for example sorry if i transmit the continuously 32 errors so i will enter to the bus off if i transmit continuously 16 errors so i will enter to the error passive state okay this is how the can protocol is implemented uh, by using this uh, error confinement whenever the particular threshold whenever the, the tc is greater than 255 so this uh, node will disconnect from the network whenever uh, any uh, continuously whenever it receives the 128 multiply 11 receive bit so it will again join to the network or restart restart of this microcontroller so we can again join to the network this is how the can uh, error confinement was implemented okay that's all friends thank you thank you for watching